Quebec Cop is back, like the real one, and this time it's supposedly not AI. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. Right here is Quebec Cop saying, the real me is back, no more AI. Also, I'm filming this video like right after I got home, so I rushed to get this video out. So here I am filming it now. But let's let's watch and see what Quebec Cop has for us. I'd be making this video. Uh, before we start, just want to prove that it's the real me. I'm uh, gonna do a few, a few strange things, so you know. Look, I got glasses on. So, um, okay, I guess I guess it's not Quebec Cup AI. So you know, it's the real me. All right, when I wear glasses, you know for a fact it's a real me. We never trained Quebec Cup AI without glasses. Hold on, 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 hold on. As you guys can see right here, he has glasses. But then if we go to the this one, he doesn't have glasses. And then he says that they never trained him without glasses, so I'm confused what he means. I, without glasses. Um, yeah, I I felt like it's time to make this video. Um, I, first of all, I want to say I had absolutely no idea there were. So many people who uh, cared about Quibble Cup. I, I want to say thank you for all the amazing support. Uh, the real me. Um, thank you everyone for watching me throughout these years and having all these amazing memories about Quibble Cup. And um, yeah, all the comments have been read and, and they have been heard. And uh, that's why I'm making this video. I, I re I'm wondering if he read them or... Okay, he, they, they, they were re they read... And he, he must have seen them. I really feel like it's, um, it's time. Uh, a few years ago, I came up with this idea of starting Quibble Cup AI. And, and the main reason I came up with it was because I had a really hard time keeping up with all these YouTube videos that I wanted to make and, and, and entertaining you all. Um, and with that, I decided to create Quibble Cup AI. Um, the level of complexity these systems have are absolutely phenomenal. I personally uh, have worked hours and hours and hours and months and years on. All right, I'm, I'm not gonna like really spoil the entire video, so you might want to go watch his video. But right here, right around here, for the rest of the video, he talks about how he is a computer developer, and he de he has developed Quibble Cup AI over a large span of time. I think he also mentioned that YouTube said it was okay for him to post AI. For the AI to make the content and post it. So, we'll just skip to like right around here. Of my heart, like, whatever you said in the comments, everyone that, uh, uh, yeah, this, this time it's real. This is not, once again, I'm not pulling the AI uh, game on everyone. I hope. Uh, right now and I once again just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart like Whatever you said in the comments in the tweets in the emails even in person. It, it really resonated with me and uh, uh, Once again, I had no idea that there were fans like you out there that really supported me no matter what um, and and Yeah, I, I mean Thank you. Yeah, like there, there isn't much else I want to say um, stay tuned for the next video. I don't really know what I'm gonna post. Maybe, uh, maybe we're gonna do uh, a GTA race or something. But, but first of all, d this is one big step. Um, and now I have to convince everyone at the company that this is the right thing to do. So, thank you. All right. So, I think it's a good idea. Now, I think it's a good idea that he's coming back. I used to watch Jelly Slogo and Quebecop a lot when I was younger. I also watch Jelly Slo uh, Jelly Slogo and Craner, and yeah, they they were a really great trio. I would say all both of them are really great trios. Uh, I think Jelly and Craner and Slogo recently got back together, but that's not what this video is about. Thanks, Quibble Club, for coming back, and now hopefully all the people that talk smack about him apologize.